Hello, this is Dara, also known as Tomea Spirit. Um, I will doing, be doing this little tiny video just um, uh, with an introduction of some videos that I'm about to upload. I just came back from Mexico. <clears throat> and um, as you know, I don't know how to edit videos. So I just took um, about five small short videos um, showing different things that I want. And so I'll just explain right now. Um, before I get started, let me explain. Um, uh, I do apologize for not going on showing you how to read uh, with the training of reading the uh, Egyptian, Egyptian Tarot of Dr. Morin. I've been very sick for about the last month before going to Mazatlan. It's like um, I had this cough and a sore throat. So every weekend I would start getting better, but then I would have readings out in the, the public in the outdoors. So that would be like on a Saturday and it would start off, you know, like in California, sunny day, cold, cold evening. By Sunday, I'm already with a sore throat, coughing like a seal, unable to make videos. And it was like on and on for like three weeks. On the fourth week, I went to Mazatlan, so I feel a lot better. And I will restart that up again. And I did notice that I never did the intro in English uh, for that those cards. So I will be doing that because I originally started it in Spanish, but I will be doing it in English, and then I will continue with card number two, okay? Pretty soon. As soon as I'm done uploading the videos I took in Mexico. And I will also explain what cards I took. I normally take a set of about seven uh, oracles or something like that, seven or eight, or, or seven, about seven oracles, um, but now I've downloaded it to six oracles and a tarot. I normally will take my writer's weight, okay? Um, but now that we have the new Guild Tower, that's what I was planning to take, and guess what? I could not find either one of these. Um, I, on the last minute, all I took was this, and I didn't realize that I didn't grab it, and I didn't take this one. What I ended up taking was um, an extra box of, that I have like this. Let me take a look here. I have this one where I can do... Um, career readings and I didn't bring my earth magic one uh, but what I normally take so to make a long story short I forgot my tarot but luckily I always have my um, tarot of the mermaids so luckily I have that I have my little light my little velvet reading cloth my tarot, I have my little mini symbolism. So I have uh, dyed bamboo coral, red coral for, um, for fire. I have a green glass feather, parrot feather for air. I have a little shell for water, um, labradorite for earth, and a round shell for spirit and i always have a little protection this one is a uh, spotted obsidian stone uh, with a uh, silver plated skull so that's what i have in here luckily i had that so i did do my readings thank god with that and so i put that away but normally my trips that's what i take Um, the answer simple soul coaching and those go in this box healing yourself by Ines Seagal uh, the Oracle of the Mermaids by Lucy Cavendish for those single looking for love single for looking love broken hearted and like I said next time on the trip for sure I will take my earth magic and um, Archangel Gabriel for career and job type of thing okay so I'm just gonna put these aside and continue explaining what I actually recorded um shoot I hope I I didn't already explain this because I did the video before but it didn't record it correctly <laughs> so here we go we started off here we parked up here walked down out here went through the cathedral this is a cathedral of Mazatlan. So you went through here, showed you what that looks like. That's one of the videos, um, just so you can see what it's like. And I also uh, wanted to show 
uh, the veil between Catholicism and tarot. Then I'll explain that. What else is there? So after going to the cathedral, we went to the mercado where they normally have the metaphysical, metaphysical store. So they have the open fruits and all that. Normally they have a shop where they have, you know, like all your spices, all the um, roots and trees and leaves and candles and saints and deity. It's all mixed in there. So normally that's where you find it. But now in the mercado, it's not like that anymore. It looks more like a pharmacy. It's pretty cleaned up. It only shows, uh, the only tarot cards that they had there were this one, which I found five and I bought all five of them. Um, these are harder to find out here in the United States and it's expensive and over there it's not that bad, but you find them in a lot of places. So I found five there, bought a couple for a couple of friends. I gave one to one of my cousins and then I brought the other one for me. Um, you'll find these cards, you'll find the Spanish cards. And you'll find another Egyptian card or in a Santa Muerte card. Not the low Scarabeo one. Some other kind of Santa Muerte one. I didn't get that one. I already have the low Scarabeo one. And, um, okay. So that's there. After that, we went to um, a botanical store. Which normally back in the uh, 70s, early 70s and on back, people would go from smaller ranches, smaller towns to the big city. The big city didn't always have um, doctors, okay? The, the, there weren't a lot of doctors to go around and it was expensive to see a doctor. So most people would go there to buy their holistic things or actually they would go from the small towns to get holistic things, oils and teas and whatever it is that they needed um, and they would buy it there. Things that could, they could not grow on their own or could not get there. Um, that's where they would go. So that's been there forever. So I just wanted to show you what that looked like and what was in there. And then we came back here, went to the cathedral here, and um, I did a little video. I don't know if I'm going to show it or not because I don't think it's, it, you didn't see much. Other than uh, they have little stands where they sell things for the, the fall under Catholicism, which are rosaries, saints, and little booklets, prayer books, and all that stuff. But you'll also see tons of things like red crystals, red bracelets with the evil eye or thing of, things that are protection against the evil eye and things like that. And what I'm trying to say is that you'll see that there's a veil a very thin veil between Catholicism and things of the metaphysical side and tarot. And I'll explain a little bit more. And in some cases, there is no veil. It's like it's all mixed in. Okay. So I don't think I'm going to show that, but I'm not sure if I will. But I didn't do much. Other than, and you can't really see a whole lot. But you'll see like little stands there. And that's what's in there. And then um, I was also explaining that there was a statue of Our Lady of Guadalupe with San Diego, which a lot of people don't understand, that um, uh, Our Lady of Guadalupe, her appearance, and that uh, picture, maybe, you know what, I'm not going to talk about that because <laughs> that has nothing to do with the video. I'll just let that go and I'll talk about that another time. But anyways, I'm just going to show you that here's the... Catholic Church, the cathedral. Once you look down here, this is a kiosk where they do all the, uh, you'll see mariachis and all that kind of stuff and different things around carnival time. Um, and when you pass by here, this is the house of tarot. Um, I'm not sure if I already explained what was there. <laughs> um, but what was there is that I was expecting a lot of cards. There were not a lot of cards. All they had was a writer's weight. Two angel cards from Dorian Virtue, the healing with the fairies and healing with the angels. Um, and they offered a Marseille and that was it. All they do is readings. It, it wasn't meant for that. And you'll see what the what it looks like inside there. Then um, there's another video after that where we go to El Faro, uh, which is actually the pier. It's the longest pier in the world and it's also the tallest lighthouse in the world natural lighthouse um there are man-made ones but this one's natural and i meant to hike it all the way up there and i forgot my tennis shoes and one of my cousins that showed up late ended up staying there with me and we went to go look at the area where is the entrance to the pier you'll see tons of cats that live around in that area um they're feral people the locals feed them they eat a lot of seafood there a lot of fishermen um, and for some weird reason, there was a rooster there. <laughs> a 
a cock a <laughs> uh, and sundown <laughs> when the sun was going down, not up. So I thought that was weird. And then I take a trip back through El Malecón, which is uh, the pier itself. And I was trying to show you where El Chapo was found hiding. <laughs> and then he took off and then was caught later on in Los Mochis, but I couldn't point it out. It was called Miramar. Um, and I didn't catch it because it was kind of like late at night. So I might put that up if you want, you're interested in seeing it. Um, and that's pretty much it. And most of my recording was kind of like on down on the down low because you're not really supposed to be recording in a lot of those places. Okay. Now I'm going to talk in Spanish. Hola, soy Dora. También conocida como Toma Spirit. Fui a México y regresé. Y también tengo que decirles, lo siento mucho que no he hecho videos sobre el, las clases de, del tarot de egipcio de Dr. Morn. He tenido como un mes enferma de la tos y cada fin de semana voy a leer la baraja en, al aire libre. En los sábados más o menos me sentía mejor. Ya para el domingo estaba otra vez ronca con un dolor de garganta. Sonaba como una, fo uh, una foca y no podía grabar. Um, ya ha sido de tres semanas, ya la cuarta semana me fui a México, ahorita me siento un poco mejor. Voy a subir unos videos que tomé. Estaba explicando que fui a la catedral, tengo como cinco videos chiquitos, cómo se ve la catedral por dentro. Um, entré al mercado a buscar ahí, el, el área metafísica ha cambiado, antes era diferente, habían hierbas y raíces de árboles y velas y un montón de cosas, ya es diferente. Nomás había la baraja del Dr. Moore. La baraja española, una de la Santa Muerte y otra egipcia. Y es todo lo que tenían. El resto eran vela, velas, uh, dioses y santos y no sé cuánto. Pero sí compré cinco barajas ahí del Dr. Bourne. Um, después enseñé uh, un lugar donde um, la gente en, el, en aquellos tiempos, en los 70 para atrás, los 60, 50 y más antes, iban a la ciudad. Um, no había muchos doctores, es decir, que iban a esa botánica para recibir uh, algo holístico, um, como aceites, té y todo, todo eso para aliviarse. Enseño eso ahí. Luego, luego vamos a caminar aquí por la catedral, donde estoy hablando que el catolicismo, uh, lo metafísico y todo eso está medio revuelto, porque está ahí, tienen vendiendo pulseritas que todo el mundo trae ahorita rojas, hablando del contra el mal ojo y el San Benedicto y todo eso. No me estaba explicando eso. No sé si voy a subir ese pedacito de video, pero ahí sigo el caminito. Entonces, de acá para acá está la. El Palacio Municipal, donde está el consulado de, o lo que dicen el presidente ahí de Mazatlán, así le dicen, no sé. Pero es como, uh, sí, el consulado ahí de, y hay muchas oficinas de gobierno. Y lo que estoy diciendo que aquí está el kiosco donde en el tiempo de carnaval, aquí ponen mariachis y en los domingos ponen mariachis. Este es un parque. Y aquí donde es la catedral, cruzas la calle para acá, está la Casa de Tarot, donde en la baraja... Todo eso, que es, mucha gente piensa que es raro, pero en México es algo de, de lo normal. Entonces, um, yo esperaba muchas barajas allí. Lo único que encontré era el Rider's Weight. Um, dos barajas del Doring Virtue, la de sanándose con los ángeles, sanándose con las, los fairies, no sé cómo se dice en español, las hadas, yo creo. Y um, de allí me fui por el al faro, el faro más alto del mundo, natural. Y el malecón es el malecón con más largo del mundo también, y también en ese paisaje donde ya voy al último, donde encontraron el Chapo escondido en uno de los hoteles, se me pasó, no, no alcancé a ver el Miramar, pero sí lo pasé por ahí, y <coughs> otra vez estoy tosiendo, <coughs> perdón, perdón. Entonces, um, esos son los videos que voy a subir y después continuaré con la baraja número 2 del Supremo Arte del de echar las cartas o del tarot egipcio del Dr. Morn. Se me está acabando el tiempo. Muchas gracias por um, um, ver mi video. Y también les voy a enseñar las barajas que llevé. Siempre llevo las, esta la de las sirenas para la gente que está soltera buscando amor. Esta es la gente soltera buscando amor, pero tiene el corazón roto que se llama de Healing Cards de Ines Ina También las del Arcángel uh, Gabriel para hacer leídas de um, carreras, de negocio y todo eso. Es la mejor baraja para eso. Esta para la uh, gente casada, um, negocios, todo ese tipo de cosas. Va a ser con esta. 
Y la otra que llevo es, la respuesta es sencilla. Esta hago conectándome con el otro lado para la gente y este es entrenando el alma. Ok, son las que me llevé y se me olvidó mi tarot favorito del Gil y también la del Rider's Way se me olvidó, pero gracias a Dios llevé mi baraja de la sirena, chiquitita de esa que siempre traigo en, el, en, el, en la bolsa. Gracias a Dios y con eso hice muchas leídas, pero se me olvidó esta la del um, magia de la tierra y eso es todo lo que hice. Um, espero verlos muy pronto, voy a subir esos videos. Y, y esos días lo hice muy rápido porque nomás en dos horas tuve que hacer todo eso bueno pues muchas gracias um, y que pases un gran día adiós